Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakha, Chodash. Shalom la bakhayarium shal yasha'ala wa kahalayum la yahaw bashim yaw shai bashim rakhakodash and double honor to the elders and apostles at great millstone who well and peace and salutation to all sincere achim they wrote there of course risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this truth all right which is the math all right ha math of course, uh, Yahweh is the true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. By Hashem, in the name Recham, meaning Spirit, Kodash is holy, which I said in the Paleo Hebrew, and the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue that has been returned unto the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And of course, since our seed has been scattered amongst the heathen, some of our people may look like the heathen where they have been scattered to. But their lineage, by the way of their fathers, go back to a Hebrew Israelite of the respective 12 tribes, which there are 12 tribes of Israel, okay, which consists of so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. Thus, we're not the black Hebrew Israelites, nor is Great Millstone, also known as GMS, connected with any other Hebrew Israelite group. We are the Hebrew Israelites, according to the relics according to the testimony that's written in the scriptures according to um also the prophecy which has been written and is new of course being manifest at a, an alarming rate i must add okay so we're gonna just go into this wee video which i have upon the screen of it's titled GMS Coon Hunting Life, which was posted by News Unit, in which this video displays two red hot Edomites. All right, in which, if you don't know by now, the Edomites are the so called Caucasians here on the planet. All right, so called white men, they are the Edomites. Okay. But bear note that there are some of our people that look like Edomites, as I had noted the scattering of our people, which was a curse of our disobedience. And no, since we are waking up to our heritage of being Hebrew Israelites, and specifically those at Great Millstone who have the 100% truth, our elders and apostles on Dune, which preach this gospel, week in week out diligently it of course is riling these devils up which these devils are the edomites okay they're the deceivers upon the earth in which they are in rulership and are currently going down all right you how about have them in a bloody shambles all right um you know of course they don't know what to do they're losing their mind they're you know you know, they're noggin, as I would say, all right? And they're, of course, beginning to react more carnally and show their true nature because in the past, of course, are, I would say in these times and such, um, for the most part, they have suppressed their racist tendency and become more 
covert. And no, of course, it's being shown how racist they are, all right, which they're for their own people. They are against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? It's now, of course, being overt, okay, within their behavior in which they emit, which they do, okay? So, you know, we can, of course, read, I can, I can play a bit of this um, this video, but, you know, for the most part, I want to go into the scriptures because that's what's mostly important. We, of course, here as the Nabayayim or the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, all right, which Nabaya mean prophet, Nabayayim makes it plural, so... We being the prophets, all right, which we just state, say what, of course, is going to happen before it happens, okay? Say before, all right? We, of course, are warning and, and telling you a prophecy, okay? And as you can see, these devils kind of take it, all right? It exposes them. They're being exposed, all right, which Yahweh Bashem Yashai said he would do, all right? But... Before I go into this V video, I'm going to play another excerpt from, uh, I believe, uh, this is the Zaquan Yashawamba of uh, Great Millstone, Dallas, all right, in which uh, here in this video, um, you know, he, he pretty much uh, explained it a bit, bit be, your power, beautiful, okay, so I want you to listen a bit. And, and, and it, uh, uh, they have you lost. And when our people are lost, this means major power and income to the wicked, to the other nations, man. This is why they're mad at our uprising, man. So due to these different vibrations and gods that they uh, bow to, you are made ignorant and they are made fat. And it says, and their meat plenty. Right, so... <laughs> These Edomites, all right, out of Wamium, right, so-called Caucasians, they're mad, all right, angry, all right, or uh, I believe it's Anop in the Hebrew, I have to go and check, but they're, of course, wroth with, you know, the children of Israel, okay, in which they're reacting in the way they're doing, okay, being irrational, irate. And of course, exalting their main blessing, which is the sword. Okay, so you know, I'll play a bit of this video and then just go into the scriptures. Live, this is also the Bitcoin Bible Church, the Lightning Bible Church, Crypto Bible Church, Crypto Bible Baptist Church, Bitcoin Bible Baptist Church, whatever you want to call it. Call it any church you want. This is the church. In Christ, and I'm just telling you what we're doing tonight a little bit. This information, of course, is uh, on YouTube, and it's uh, presented here. It's not necessarily that of myself or anyone else like Billy. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only, right? Yep. We can neither confirm nor deny the accuracy of any of it. That shit don't fucking cool. We're going, where are we going, Billy? Go coon hunting. Coon hunting, all right. <laughs> Gonna get you some coon. Fuck them up. We're going GMS coon hunt. They didn't think we were coming, but the Lord has sent us. The Lord spoke to me and said, Thou shalt go speak in the name of the word of God to the GMS Israelites and shall cut them asunder with the sword of the spirit, the word of God. And cut them and fuck them. Yep. In which... Uh, I haven't seen uh, these uh, men at a camp, all right? Which, what I see in this video is just two Edomites going about just chatting mints, all right? Talking about, you're going a coon hunting, you know, I'm going to catch me some coons. And you, you could just see in the reincarnation of these devils, all right? their spirit okay which is just putting these new bodies and all all right which you know these are the same so-called white men all right which were back in the times of slavery which have what hung our people castrated them caught the womb or the bellies of our women all right fed our babies to alligators and all 
All right, for Gator Bait. These devils are the same, all right? The same people. And going even back to the times of Cain and such, all right? These damn devils are Esau, Edom, okay? Descendants of Esau, Edom, all right? And they think that because they put these wee videos and all up, they're going to stir up some type of fear. But it's actually us that are putting the spirit of fear upon them, all right? Which we're going to get into that in the scriptures. This is Revelations chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood up, or st and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Which, when you have it here, you have uh, and after three days and a half, that uh, you have a, a period of time, roughly about 350 years, all right, in which we were without, uh, you know, knowing this truth and such, all right. No, of course, you have it with our. One of our um, our elders, all right, being um, the reincarnation, our regeneration of the um, John the Baptist, all right. Of course, woke up as Abba Bibbins, all right. And you have it where you start to wake us up to being back as Israelites, all right, which was a fulfilling of biblical prophecy. In which you know have the prophets out there on the highways and hedges. In which when these Edomites see us, of course, they are in great fear. All right, because this, all right, is the downfall, of course, of their kingdom. All right, really quick, a precept. This is the book of Mal or in Malachi four and five, and it reads here: Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Which that was of course Abba Bibbins. Alright. We'll do the Rechak Wadash if you can, speak, you can receive it. And it says. And he shall turn the heart. The minds. Of the fathers to the children. And the hearts. Are the heart of the children to their fathers. Least I come and smite the earth with a curse. Alright. In which the Lord, he's not a man that he should lie. So, this, of course, occurred, all right? So, going back, all right? You know, you have it, Abba Bivens, uh, of course, back in the 1970s and such, you know, woke up, you know, started, of course, wake up the Israelites. And then you have our elders and apostles, all right? Their elders, all right? Okay, which we currently have our elders, okay? Apostles at Great Millstone, all right? Teaching this truth and such, all right? Which this, of course, gave us life, all right? In which we were, what, those dry bones, all right? Um, which uh, I believe you can read that in the book of Ezekiel, all right? Um, which, let me get it, or I'll just get it, you know, just... Uh, so I can better edify. The original lesson was actually ugh, spoiled by Shatan. So this is actually the second take of it. All right. So this is the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. And it says here. And it says is the, the, at the top, it says the hand of Yahweh, which is the Most High's name, which means he to be or he exists, was upon me and carried me out in this Recha, or the spirit of Yahweh, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of dry bones, all right, which that valley, all right, is a low line, all right, being you have in America, all right, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, right? In which they were put, what, 
the, the Israelites are in a, um, a dead, all right, condition, all right, which, as the scriptures say in the book of Proverbs 21 and 16, it says, The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right, so this, we were those, or this speaking of the dry bones, this is us, all right, in a dead estate, all right, and it says here that, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Yahweh, or O Lord, Yahweh, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus said the Lord Yahweh unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. All right? Which we get this uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? And now we, of course, are brought back to life. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring flesh upon you, and I will cover and, and cover you with skin and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. All right. So you have it there that you know we of course are waking up to our heritage, in which now we are of course back to life. All right, our chaya. All right, which we t are to live now. All right, the new. Okay. Now going back to Revelations eleven eleven, it says, "And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the power." Enter into them, all right. That period of time, all right. Being you know, we us be without the power, uh, you know, you have it. Us was uh, you know, went into slavery, but back in what about late 1600, 16, what night or early slach, 16, um, 19 and such, all right. Till uh, you have it like you know, the late uh, 1960s uh, and such, so you know, going into that 350 year period, all right. This isn't. Uh, literally three day. Uh, literally. Uh, uh, let me see. Slock it. Um, we, we, like I say here, three days. Th you know, it symbolizes something. All right, just so you can know. But going into it, it says here. It says, uh, the spirit of life from power. All right, enter into them, which is the Israelites, and they stood upon their feet in great fear. Fell upon them which saw them, which you have it that these Edomites, as you can see, coon hunting, all right, they're mad because we have the truth, all right, and their kingdom is coming at its close and it's at its end, all right, for Esau is the end of the world, which is you Edomites, you so called Caucasians, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, you know, of course, you Edomites are uh, in power, all right. I know, but you're losing it, and that's why, of course, you're mad at us and such, all right? So, we're going to go now to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, um, and verse 1, and it says, And then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face or the punya of such as afflicted him and made no account. Of his labors, right, in which we're doing that the new, you know, being out on the highways and hedges in which we're in the chief place of the concourse, and we're also, of course, uh, casting our line about in on the internet, all right, on the unicorn, all right, and it says, and when they see they see it, they shall be troubled with a terrible fear, and they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for, all right. So, you know, you have it here that these Edomites are angry, okay? You know, because, you know, first of all, you have it with us, we woke up, and then on top of that, we're going to be sla saved, all right? Slach, we're going to be saved from slavery, all right, out of their hands in a glorious fashion, being from the uh, UFOs, so-called um, UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel, all right? It says, and they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometime in derision and a proverb of a reproach, All right? It says, we fools have accounted his life madness and to his end to be without honor. 
All right, how he is numbered among the children of the power in his law is among the saints. All right, and this is very plain and to the point. All right, these damn devils don't, of course, look at us as the children of the Most High. They look at us as nothing but um, like niggers, spicks, wetbacks, coons. All right. So he said, "Have here or sake." So we have here in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two, and I'm gonna start at one and then skip down. It says, "For the ungodly said, reason with themselves, but not all right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave." All right. So this is ungodly speaking. Going down to verse. Um, seven, or actually verse nine, and it says here, "Let none of us go without his pot of our voluptuousness." All right, which you go into voluptuousness. All right, you going into luxury and pleasure and such, which you have it here, characterized by luxury and sensual pleasure, which this whole society. Is set up to, of course, entice you through the wine of the so-called white man, who is Esau, Edom, of his luxury and pleasure, to just go out to do as thy will, all right, to, of course, um, not serve the power, all right, to serve Satan, all right, to seek out uh, fame, you know, and wickedness and such, glory and riches and such, all right. It says, let us leave tokens or signs of our joyfulness in every place, for this is our portion in our lot. Is this and you know they have of course signs of, of their joyfulness in every place with their we sin, see sin cities, all right, your Las Vegas, your Amsterdam, your Brazil, your Mexico, in which so-called white men have places where you of course have it where you can part, uh, you know, be, take part within uh, voluptuousness, is luxury and sensuality, you know, just to you know go about and being engrossed fully within folly, all right. And it reads and it says here, let us op oppress the poor and righteous man. Let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient and gray hairs of the age. Let our strength be the be the law of justice. All right, which the so-called white man has his own laws, which is unrighteous decrees. All right, which they prescribed. And it says, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. And it says. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. Or Tazadak, ya yum, I believe. Tazadak mean righteous. All right, Tazadak ya, Tazadak ya yum, I believe. Slack, because he is not for our turn, which we're not for their rulership. We're not for the system of Esau Edom. We're not for worshiping the image of the beast, which of course is this Roman system. All right, which uh is. The what the, the the democracy, the covetousness, the murder, the um, um, you have it with homosexuality and such, okay, lies, rape, all of that wickedness. All right, okay. It says, and he is 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 clean contrary to our doings, and this is why they look at us. All right, because first of all, they are what they're uh you know Esau is um. Is uh profane, okay? He's outside of the temple, okay? You how about Shimei Shai put Esau outside of the temple, okay? Which he can never come into this truth, all right? Uh, this is uh the book of Pro uh, Slaki, uh Hebrews two twelve and sixteen. It says, least there be any fornicator as our profane person as Esau, who for one more so meat so his birthright. Right, so you know Esau Edom, you so called white people, you sold your birthright unto Jacob, Jacob, which is our forefather. All right, and it says, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. He, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. You damn devils are in uh, tears, all right, which you can see upon the screen. You know, you have it, these, shame, these shameful devils. Nothing us. Don't fuck with me. Don't 
Don't fuck with me, Look right in there. Look right in there and tell them. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Don't fuck with Billy, man. Look at my face. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't fuck with you. Right, so you have it here. You have this uh, carnal, ugly Edomite with no hairline on his head. All right. <laughs> He's talking about, the, the, you know, don't fuck a bit with me and stuff. You know, so, um, you know, it, it, they, of course, claim they mean business and all, you know, which they're just carnal. All right. You know, he don't want them, us in his face and such, which they're, you know, they're mod. All right. Because we're. Those righteous men, all right, in boldness, bringing out this truth to their face, all right, all right. So, you know, they going what coon hunting and such, all right. Try to bring a bro, bo, uh, bring a uh, bo, various forms of confusion, all right. Uh, no. I I want to go to uh. Back to it, um. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 12 And it says Therefore let us lie and wait For the righteous Because he is not for our turn He is clean Contrary to our doings He upbraideth us With our offending the law Alright If you bring that Right To his face Alright Which I'm gonna look up this word Upbraid This all right, which I may have to go into a different dictionary, um, to retrieve this dex dic this uh actual definition. All right, let me see if I can, I can get it. Let me see. I'm gonna go into the etymon on my physical Bible. Upbreed, right? So the upbreed it means to bring forth. All right, so it says to bring forth eyes ground for censure or move quickly. All right. Let me see if I can get another definition. All right. I'm going to go to the dictionary.com. All right. This is upbraid. All right. So upbraid, they have to find fault. Okay. With a reproach severity, right? Which we, of course, find fault in everything they do because their ways are perverse. They're everything contrary to what Yahweh Bashem Shai has written in the law, all right? Where you, you know, you have it where, no, it says that if a uh, man be found in, uh, and like if you steal a man and he's found in your hands, you know, you shall be put to death, roughly paraphrasing. You have us in, in, in your hands, all right? You know, you guys don't want to be uh, put into any type of punishment, okay? It says, he upbraideth us with our offending of the law, all right? So we find fault, right? And object to our infamy, the transgression of our education, right? Which you have the infamy, which is, uh, you have it here, um, the state of being well known for some bad quality or deed. You know, which we, you know, there's all various ways which the so-called white man contra is uh, contrary to the law. He, of course, uh, through his various philosophies and such, he breaks the law in various forms, okay? You know, he lift up, you know, wickedness. All right, so, um, the new I want to go to, or the now I want to go to, book of Habakkuk. All right, chapter one, it says, the burden which Habakkuk, the prophet, did see, O Yahweh, how long shall I cry, and thou will not hear? Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. Why doth thou show me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are that raise up strife and contention. All right, in which we have nothing but what, uh, you know, spoiling and violence, rape and robbery with these damn Edomites. Therefore, the law is slacked. And judgment doth never go forth, all right, because they don't use the law, statute, commandments as the measuring stick, the rulership, all right, and uh, the the um the the way of ruling, okay, okay. They use, of course, their own laws, unrighteous decrees. It says, for the wicked 
doth compass about the righteous, you know, so they're surrounding us, right? Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth, okay? And, and, and that's why, of course, you know, since uh, these Edomites, of course, came into power, you have it where um, wickedness has exceedingly polluted earth. Wickedness has been, um, uh, has, wickedness has been multiplied within the earth, all right, which is written in the Apocrypha, all right? But Yahweh Bashem Yahshua Bashem Rechakodash is going to recompense you damn devils, all right? This is the book of Lamentations 4. And I'm going to go to um, the point, which here, and I actually have it, if I'm not, if I haven't read it before, I'm going to read it again. Um, I'm going to read first, first uh, Lamentation 4 and 22, it says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter Zion, talking about the nation of Israel, which we are to Zion, which is, what, the Lord's monument. He will no more... Carry thee away unto captivity No more slavery He will visit thine iniquity O daughter of Edom And he will discover thy sins Which is being done Via of course uh, The Lord revealing them Due to of course the prophets Alright All of this information that is showing the devil Okay Read that in Thess Thessalonians Alright We're gonna go now To Uh The book of back. Book of Zephaniah three and twenty says at that same at that time will I bring you again, even the time that I gather you, for I will make you a praise among all the earth. And I will turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord. And Yahweh Hashem is doing that, all right? You know, he's going to give us that praise, that the fame in the earth, the spiritual power. We're going to do miracles, all right? You know, Yahweh Hashem is lifting these curses up off of us, all right? And, he, and he's doing that right now. And, you know, as he's doing that, he's pulling you damn Edomites down. And that's why you're mad, all right? You know, you're very mad, all right? Wrath, okay? But you have to understand that, you know, the Lord, he was mad with us. And that's why he, of course, sold us, all right, to, uh, or had us uh, so, uh, sold to you, damn, uh, Edomites, okay? We were put into slavery for our disobedience, all right? Which I'm going to quickly get real quick. This is going to be uh, the book of Baruch 3. And then I'm going to go to the brute 4 and 6 as well. Chapter 3. Alright. And I, I got to get the other one. Instead of you as Roth. Yeah, this is Isaiah 47 and 6. I was Roth with my people. I polluted mine inheritance. And given them into thine hand. Thou didst... Show them no mercy upon the ancient, has though verily heavily laid thy yoke. All right, yeah, the slavery. Okay, these damn Edomites sold no mercy. All right, which you know, they done all type of abominations to our people. Okay, you go into you know, slavery, you know, <sighs> I mean, the, the things that done, all right. It has to be recompensed. It's, it's, it was totally ridiculous. All right, as it says in the scriptures that uh, they furthered the, sh the affliction. All right, all right. So uh, I want to go now to the book of, and the, you know, the Lord was angry, which you have it here, Quetaza, uh, or Quetaza, which means to be displeased when you go into it. All right, anger to be angry. All right. So going back to the book of Baruch 3 and and uh, I can start at 4. I'm going to start here. Here, Baruch 3 and 4 says, O Almighty, the power of Yasha'ala of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, hear new 
the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee their power for the which caused these plagues to cleave unto us which you can read the various plagues in the book of Deuteronomy 28 go from uh, fit, chat, was it, verse 15 on down to 68 ends with slavery all right so uh you know to uh they say uh that we should be leading led into egypt by way of ships all right uh going into it verse five remember not thy iniquities of thy of of our forefathers but think upon thy power and thy name new at this time for thou art a lord and Thee, O Yahweh, will we praise. And for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our heart, which is the hearts, all right, of the elect, all right, the minds, to the intent that we should call upon thy name, which is Yahweh Bashim Shai, and praise thee in our captivity, which we're doing the new, or right new. And it says, For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee, which we are our forefathers in the reincarnation. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, which we're still in the slavery in Egypt, double streets, where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. All right, which we're subject on the payments we taxed. All right, we're in subjection. We we are subject to your various laws under the rule of you, you damn Edomites. All right, simple as that. Okay, and we're scattered wherever we scatter. We are still under you damn Edomites because the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. The wicked is ruling everywhere. All right, now, um, let's see what else I got. Um, that's basically it. I'm just gonna leave it simple. All right, at that, you know, I, I, you know, the lesson could go on, but you know, I'm gonna leave it simple. Look out for these wheat Edomites. All right, they're devils. All right, they're weak. They're hurting. All right, and they're dying out because they're getting cut by the word. All right, which we have the truth. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, and of course, stay diligent. And do not react carnal to these uh, Edomites, all right? Our power is the word, but the Lord is going to lift up thy stand, the standard in the time, all right? In which these damn devils are going to come, all right, at, like a flood, all right? Sparing none, you know? A madman sparing none, all right? Shalom.